So there's this video that was on my channel a couple of months ago and it is actually still on the channel, but it probably won't be after this video comes out. It was about the best weapon loadouts for Destiny 2. So a lot of you guys got into the comments and told me how bad the video was. It was actually pretty funny and a little bit depressing. You know, you guys are mean. No, I'm just playing with you. But your comments kind of made me realize that I kind of need to do this over again, you know? So that's exactly what we're going to do today. But this time it's going to be a little bit different. This time around, it's just going to be individual weapons as opposed to loadouts. And I might throw in some loadouts loadouts that I have here and there, but it won't be a list dedicated to loadouts. It would just be individual weapons and why I think you should bring them into Beyond Light. And yes, this time they're not going to be sunsetting weapons. And yes, I also did some research on it. So if you do enjoy today's video, please hit that like button. And if you want more guides, live streams, and builds, and other discussion videos like this, hit that subscribe button for more. And by the way, links to the legendary weapons list will be down in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so the first gun I'm going to tell you guys about is the one that came to us about last year, I believe, with the last Festival of the Lost, and that is the Braytech Werewolf. Yes, it isn't good in PvP because it's a 450, and yes, it's a reskin of a reskin. Bungie, I'm looking at you. Please don't do this in Beyond Light. But this gun has been nothing but good to me in the time that I've used it. So for those who were there in the live stream last night, you guys will remember this, but I was farming for Cypher Decoders for about 20 to 25 minutes, give or take, on the moon with my guy Baby Beats. By the way, go check him out. He's a really awesome guy and a good YouTuber, link in the description below. But we were just farming cypher decoders, and by the way, they didn't make any type of changes to the cypher decoder drops. Like, I still noticed that they're dropping at a very low rate, but that's another point for another day. The curated role is what you should be going after, so if you don't already have the weapon, once you get it to drop, you can just go into your collections and get the curated role, and it already comes masterwork and everything like that, and it's pretty nice off the bat. I also ended up pairing this gun with another weapon on this list, so stay tuned to see what it is. Now, I don't know if you guys recall the last video that I did on the TWAB, but I think they did say something about in the next TWAB that they do, which should be this week or next week, they're going to do some sandbox changes or talk about sandbox changes and new archetypes that are going to get buffed. So 450s, I don't know. I mean, it's a possibility. We don't really know yet. We're leaning more towards 110s and 140s getting buffed, but if 450s actually do get buffed, which I don't really see happening because auto rifles in general got a buff, I think. I think 600 round per minute auto rifles are the meta right now. But I mean, hey, anything's possible. And also another thing is that I would also kind of change out multi-kill clip for kill clip in general, just because I like it better than multi-kill clip. If multi-kill clip is the best fourth column perk that you can get, then that's fine too. I mean, the gun's already pretty good on its own, but yeah, on to number two. So next up, we've got the Cold Denial Pulse Rifle guys. And this thing is probably already taken Bygone's spot as King of Pulse Rifles. And while I'm not too happy about that, because Bygones has been my baby boy for a minute now, I'll definitely be using it come next season in crucible i mean it's only fitting because like cold denial i mean frost powers you know stasis ice europa no no okay never mind Anyways, if you're looking for a good PvP role or even a good role in general, I'd say in the first column go small bore, then in the second column go high caliber rounds because you get a plus five range increase, which with cold denial, I'm usually looking for range any way I can get it. And that's just with pulses in general, actually. And I'll typically choose range over stuff like stability, specifically with this gun, because it's already pretty stable as it is. The third column, I'd say go feeding frenzy, just because if you look at the perk chart, which should be up on screen right now, there's not many options. So feeding frenzy should be a good choice overall and in the fourth column you should be either going for multi kill clip or eye on the storm now eye of the storm is something that's usually good on all stringer but i definitely go for it on this weapon too because you get an accuracy boost whenever you're critical and multi kill clip is better if you're going to use this weapon in pve i just get multi kill clip and just run with it from there so these next two are going to be ancient gospel and criminal's dagger now we briefly covered ancient gospel in our 140s video by the way that should pop up on screen right now so go check that out after this video is done but criminal's dagger is a part of the the 110 rpm family we all know them we all hate them for being bad i mean at least i do but it's highly likely that 110s and 140s like i said before in the braytech werewolf review 110s and 140s should be getting buffed or at least a significant boost in their stats now look i'm not going to try to sell you a gun that i have little experience using so the only thing that i can say is that because 110s are bound to get a buff then go out and save up some criminals daggers i guess or other 110s although i don't think iron banner is coming back this season so next season should be the ideal time to go get one or you could just check in your vault because there should be one there if you do hoard stuff. Now the Ikelos weapons have really stepped up their game this season. And with their new light cap, they're definitely something you should be using in PvE. Mainly the Ikelos SMG. Now there's two reasons that you should use these Ikelos weapons. 
The first being that the weapons are compatible with any War Mine socket mods that you have on your armor, meaning that you can drop War Mine cells from the mods that you wear on your armor, which do increase your ad clearing potential. Now, the second reason that you should be using these weapons, mainly the SMG, of course, is that the perk combinations that you can get on the SMG make them really good, actually. So, one of the main reasons why I see the SMG as really good is because of the build combinations that you can use and even create with this gun. For example, if you get a roll with Demolitionist and pair that with a Void Grenade and the Warlock Exotic Verity's Brow and then equip the Oppressive Darkness mod, you'll basically be deleting bosses in seconds and then you'll get your energy back using the SMG while also killing enemies while also creating War Mind Cells. You get where I'm going here? So it's definitely a setup that I used like a couple months ago and I still kind of use it today on my Titan, but obviously I can't use the Warlock Exotic, but I'm sure there's an Exotic out there for the Titan and even the Hunter that allows you to get your grenade energy back. I kind of covered this build a while ago, but using a shotgun and it was in a different video. So if you want to see that, the card for it should be up there in the right hand corner but this weapon is farmable right now from the umbral engrams but just be sure to focus them for the second row so you guys remember at the beginning of the video when i told you that i would be pairing something with bray wolf well that special weapon would be the first and last out now you're probably looking at me like a slug shotgun come on boy are you serious but i mean yeah i am in pve slug shotguns are nasty bro like i think they got the most recent buff the most recent one i'm talking about this season like at the beginning of this season or before there's been a couple of videos on it so i'm sure you can put a good build together and start wrecking shop with this weapon because if you're using bray wolf or any other primary that you choose as your workhorse weapon then the shotgun should only have to worry about majors and bosses which i mean just throw on the corresponding mod for that which would be a boss mod or a major mod for some extra damage and you should be fine now the last weapon we're going to be going over today is going to be the fallen guillotine yes another season pass weapon but i see this weapon being used very well into beyond light simply because of all the damage the sword puts out and when used with an impressive darkness mod and grenade all it takes are a couple of swings from whoever's using it as well as a heavy attack and you're doing optimal dps sorta but other than that there's not much to say about this weapon it's pretty easy to use as far as swords go but its reputation precedes it but i do see some competition arising with the new beyond light sword that just got revealed those two are definitely going to be the top two sword options as far as i'm concerned going into beyond light but yeah i'd like to thank you guys for watching it means a lot to me seriously so if you did enjoy today's video please give it a like and if you're new and enjoy this type of content consider hitting that subscribe button because once beyond light hits we're gonna be dropping videos like crazy guys i'm seriously gonna take off that day of school and then when the day one raid hits come on now if that's on the weekend yeah you know we're putting out content or even a live stream so be sure to stick around for that i'm very excited and optimistic for what the future holds if you want to get in touch with me best way to do that is through twitter and instagram links to those will be in the description along with the source for today's video but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace